we're Robert and Steve. In the last episode, we left off at Hook Island. Now we're heading around the corner to Langford Island. Famous for its long spit that appears and disappears according to the tide. From the top of the island, we got to see a Whitsunday bottle tree. Then next stop, Stonehaven Anchorage. Where Steve takes up parkour. No. I know. After a bit of rock hopping and general rock appreciation, it was time to get in the water. There was a mix of coral here, some really beautiful healthy corals and some corals that had survived being tipped on their side. This whole area is affected by Cyclone Debbie which struck in 2016. At least in this area, some of the corals survived. Around the corner from the famous Hayman Island Resort is where we anchored. It looked a bit post-apocalyptic. The mix of cyclone followed by drought. From the top, these were some of the prettiest views we'd had. Let's just hope the wildlife returns. Yeah. Underwater, it was a similar story. There were some nice corals in the shallows, but the rest were very cyclone affected. However, we did see some healthy wildlife. Green sea turtle. Next we had to leave the Whitsunday area and back on the boat I was experimenting with an arty film project. It's finished now so I'll put a link in the description. It got pretty rough as we were heading toward Gloucester Island It was a gorgeous sail, past tiny islands like Ratray Island, contrasting with the huge Gloucester Island. And 
Our next stop was Bowen. We didn't know anything about it, and it was a pleasant surprise. We planned to get groceries, but ended up doing a beautiful walk by mistake. It was a happy mistake. This is a bowerbird. And this is a film crew for the filming of Stalker on the Reef. And just when we thought our walk couldn't get more exciting, this street won the Woolworths Christmas Decoration Competition 2009 to 2019. Wow. Ah, oh, there's a coal-fired power plant. Then it was fish on. There you go. Spanish mackerel. <laughs> Spanish mackerel is one of Steve's favourite fish to eat, but he had his work cut out for him. We don't have a freezer, so this fish fed us for days, and we gave some away. Then there was time for more experimenting with my art film. We did some washing before arriving at Cape Bowling Green. It was quite nice there, until the wind changed. Ooh, very bumpy. One more long day sail before we could rest. While sailing, we cooked up some marinated fish. Our plating presentation's better at anchor, but it was delicious. Some juice. We were on our way to Magnetic Island, Yunbinan. Traditional lands of the Wulguru Kaba people. Again, we didn't know much about this and we were pleasantly surprised. Just after this, a whale popped up to breathe right beside where we were anchored. There are some great walking tracks here and we were keen to do them all. We heard the screaming of a baby osprey. And then we saw this. We enjoyed a couple of days here of bird watching, kayaking, bushwalking, rock hopping, and relaxing. Oh, and eating fish a lot. Now to exit elegantly. Always elegant. That's my motto. Last episode I did promise a recap to avoid island confusion. So last time we were exploring the traditional lands of the Nagato people. From Border Island we went down to Tung Bay. Then we snorkel hopped around Hook Island, continued on to Langford Island, and to Stonehaven Anchorage. And that's this episode. Next it was off to Hayman Island before leaving the Whit Sundays behind us and continuing north up the coast, all the way to Yunbenun, Magnetic Island. Next time, island hop with us from Orpheus to Hinchinbrook to Dunk Island. And there's some action on the outer reefs when we break out anchor windless.